Good evening ladies and gentlemen. So in true fashion, I am running late and the taxi is outside. Uh, I'm currently standing in Lydia's brand spanking new beautiful wardrobe, which I don't think anybody's seen on my channel yet, but it's been on her channel. It looks amazing in here. But this evening, the reason why I'm dressed up in a suit is because I'm heading down to Savile Row to go for a dinner with Jo Malone as they launch their new refined fragrances for men. Really looking forward to going down there and catching up with the team because it's been ages since I've seen the guys. And then also there's some other lads come in from the industry that I'm looking forward to having a good catch up with. As I said, the cab is outside, um, shock. So I'm gonna jump in that, catch a train down to London and hopefully have a great evening. So I'm gonna stop rambling, get going and we'll catch you guys after the event tomorrow morning. Let's go. Good morning. I have woken up feeling very, very tired today. I got back a lot later last night than I anticipated. Just because I was having so much fun, I decided to stay and have a good old chat. Basically, if you don't hit the 10 o'clock train back from London Euston, you end up getting a very, very long train home. So I think my train was over an hour last night, which was quite dragging to say the least, but it was a fantastic evening. It started off, we headed down to Savile Row to the Huntsman door, where we had a nice reception and introduction to the brand. I was told that they are the most expensive Savile Row tailorer on the street. Their suits start at six and a half thousand pounds, which is just crazy. If that's their like bottom range, their starting price, six and a half K, staggering. But the pieces in there looked unbelievable. I mean, you'd hope so for that kind of money. Complete luxury and good quality craftsmanship. So Jo Malone have collaborated with Huntsman on four bespoke fragrances for men. Fragrances are really nice actually. They're not too overpowering. The bottles are quite unique to the standard sort of Jo Malone's bottle. They've got Huntsman written around, like wrapped around the bottle, which is quite cool. So yeah, it's the first ever male focused fragrances that Jo Malone have done, which is super cool. We um, then headed over to the townhouse, which is Jo Malone's townhouse in London, and we enjoyed a lovely dinner and we just sat around and chatted and I catched up with the team and some of the guys and the lovely Bianca uh, from Jo Malone who's the most loveliest girl. She's got such good energy. We just sat down and had a good catch up because I think it's been at least half a year since I saw her last. So that was nice. And um, yeah, got back quite late. So this morning I've got up, had a coffee, had my breakfast. I'm out again this evening back into London, but today I'm gonna focus on getting some editing done just to sort of get on top of everything before I head to Portugal on Friday. I'm gonna um, head up now and start cracking on with work and I'll catch you guys in a bit. Right, so I've spent the afternoon editing and it's been very productive so far actually. I'm currently sitting in my office, which really frustrated me, I've still not had the chance to actually show this space with you yet. I did have a phone call yesterday with Chippy who said he's gonna come and fit the doors because they finally arrived, hopefully over the weekend. So fingers crossed that happens and then we're one step closer to having this room completely finished. I just then need to get them painted and we are good to go. So very, very excited actually to share this space. But the reason I quickly grabbed the camera was because I just had a thought. It's been a while, some of you may remember actually that I spoke about the Holland and Barrett Health Box service over probably the last couple of months. I thought 
thought that I'd take a break from editing and quickly sort of go through with you like how everything's been going and where we're at today with this service. I'm sure many of you are very much aware that it's very important for us to have a continued supply of vitamins and minerals for our health and bodily functions. Without these, you do find yourself a little bit run down or at least a little bit under the weather. I do try to consume as much as possible through my diet, but I am well aware that that is far from perfect and some days I have really bad days with my food, sometimes even weeks to be honest with you, and essentially my body suffers for that. I was introduced to the health box service, so I went online at hollandandbarrett.com and took a really easy online consultation. In return, I got given a bespoke supplement box which was focused at my key areas. It was great having this online consultation because trying to find the right supplements for you can be very overwhelming. I know certainly it is for me. And then after taking the supplements for a few weeks, it soon became part of my daily routine. Uh, I wasn't forgetting to take them. It's just really easy to follow because in the box, they've got a system that's in place to make sure that you stay on top of your intake. You have your AM and PM listings and your Monday to Sunday listings as well. So it's really easy to remember whether you have or haven't taken your supplements, which I found very convenient. Something else that I found really useful was the personal guide and information booklets that come with inside the health box service. It explains really easily like how and why these supplements are gonna benefit you. And I have to say, after taking these supplements now for the last three months, I feel great. So if you are somebody that thinks that they will benefit from this health subscription service as much as I have, then as always, I'll leave the information in the description box for you to go and check out and do some reading on it yourself. But it's a great service that makes taking supplements really easy. Uh, you don't have to be really experienced in supplementation and understanding what and what you do not need. Um, that's the purpose of the online consultation. So yeah, I just thought I'd update you guys, let you know how I've been getting on because I did say to you that I would kind of like give it a review. So this is that review, so yeah. Thumbs up, but now I'm gonna get ready because this evening I'm gonna be heading down to Sony HQ to watch the screening with French Connection of Venom, the new Tom Hardy film, which I'm very excited about. Tom Hardy's one of those actors that I just absolutely love and you guys will probably know that I'm getting well into my Netflix at the moment. So yeah, I'm looking forward to doing that and I need to get ready because I'm chilling in my casual wear. So yeah, I'm gonna wrap up editing, finish that off, get ready and um, yeah, I'll probably chat to you just before we leave to head out to London. Yo, 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 so I've just finished off getting ready into this evening's attire. A lot more uh, casual than yesterday's. Wearing my Dior trainers that I absolutely adore. And then I've got some Zara, sort of like light black washed distressed denim. Uh, this is a good for nothing puffer jacket. I've got my long jeans, Conquest. VHP on and then I've got a River Island black t-shirt with my Porio Armani dog tags. Very um, kind of wintry outfit to be honest, going very dark but I wanted to be super comfortable so that's why I've gone for trainers and uh, kind of like a sporty jacket. This evening should be really good. Going to watch the screening as I said of Venom uh, with Tom Hardy so yeah I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be a nice evening but obviously being that it's a film that's not even out yet um, in the cinemas. I'm not gonna be able to film anything, so I thought that I would take this opportunity to end the vlog. I hope you have enjoyed it, and if you wanna find any links to the products that I'm wearing or that I wore yesterday, I'll leave those all in the description box for you to check out uh, alongside the Holland and Barrett bit. So I wanna say thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.